If you want to be a success, you need a strategy. And in the game of life, it can make all the difference in the world. Executive coach Erica Anderson is the author of Being Strategic, and she's here to share some of her winning tips with us. Good morning, Erica. Good morning. You believe that everybody needs a life strategy, and what is that? I do, and it's uh, a way to make sure that you achieve your dreams. Most people have dreams, but they don't approach them in an organized way, and so then they're less likely to come true. The first thing that you say we should do is look at the challenge. What is the problem I want to solve? Exactly. That's a great way to say it. So, for instance, let's say you have a child who has learning disabilities. That can just seem completely overwhelming. But what, what do you need to do? But maybe what you, what you really need is to find out how you can get the support that child needs to feel successful. And if you hone in on that, then you can begin to look toward how to make that happen. A lot of people don't look at themselves in the mirror, honestly. Yes. Is that important as well, to look at your life and your aspirations realistically? Absolutely. Once, you've, once you're clear on what the problem is, then it's really important that you know where you're actually starting from. One example I was just using recently is, you know, we all watch American Idol. Right. And there are some people who want to be the American Idol, and clearly they don't know how to sing. You know? And they're surprised when the judges critique Precisely. them. Precisely. So you have to be clear about where you're starting from. It's, it's sort of like if you're saying, I want to go to Philadelphia. I think I'm in New York. I'm actually in L.A. <laughs> you know, it's going to be a lot harder to get there. Which brings us to the next point. You have to come up with a reasonable aspiration yes. to strive for. Yes. And reasonable aspiration is important. It's, let's say you're a waitress and you decide that you want to become the manager of your restaurant in a couple of years. That's a reasonable aspiration. If that same waitress says, I want to be a neurosurgeon in three years, that's not a reasonable aspiration. So it's important to say, here's where I'm starting from, here's what I'd like to achieve, here's what I'd like to accomplish, that it be something that you can actually achieve so you're successful. But you have to understand, too, probably, that it's not going to be a piece of cake to get there. Exactly. And that's, you know, so here's where you're starting from, here's where you're trying to get to. You need to look at the obstacles, what, what's in the way. And sometimes what happens is people look at the obstacles and they get paralyzed. Like, let's say that your hope, you know, your hope for a future is you want to find your soulmate. You want to find the person that you need to be with for the rest of your life. And you look and you say, okay, well, but I never leave my apartment. And that might seem like such a big obstacle to you that you don't know how to overcome it. But if you just look at it kind of fairly objectively as dated, then you say, okay, that's something I need to do differently. And do you think that people tend to over or underestimate their obstacles? I think uh, both. Some oh. people overestimate them. Like they just look at them and get paralyzed. And some people kind of go, oh, no, 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 that won't be a problem. And you have to be accurate about it. It's sort of like if you were trying to climb up a hill and there was a troll, <laughs> you, you would need to know how big that troll was, right? Exactly. And now you know how big the troll is and you know what you want and you've got to figure out, okay, how am I going to get there? Because it's not exactly. going to happen by itself. Exactly. And this is where the idea of strategy comes in. So a strategy is just a pathway, a road that you're going to walk down. And what people tend to do, let's go back to the soulmate thing, everybody, you know, you, you decide, you get very clear, I want to find a kind, smart person who cares for me the way I care for them. Okay, that's your future, that's your castle on the hill. And you say, okay, the first thing is, I never get out of my apartment, that's an obstacle. So um, you could just start going out. But that maybe wouldn't get you where you want to go. So it's good to create a strategy. So your strategy might be, I want to go places where the kinds of men that I want to meet hang out. Exactly. You have to be proactive. Exactly. And then once you have that direction, then you can say, here are the specific things I'm going to do to implement that strategy. Great. Erica Anderson, thank you. Oh, you're very so welcome. Much. We'll put more of uh, Erica's tips for success on our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.